What's going on guys, C Freeze Zone here, I'm back on the Seven Circle and today we're just going to do like a little farming run, um, I haven't actually showed you guys a farming run before but right now we need um, some hide and some brimstone, so it's just a basic run really, it's nothing too special but I have just gone into in conference mode as you can see there, it's full in conference I've grabbed my thrall with me so he can um, do the killing and I'll do the picking up but yeah, it's good to see this done, I guess, so you know how much you can get yourself and a good run will be, I'll, you know, I'll go through all that and we'll um, kill a lot of things and yeah, really just um, I'll show you guys what how this goes out. At the moment, just unlocking all the tools so we can repair any of the tools that we got. Uh, so we've got heaps of tools here, we'll chuck um, the axe there and we'll chuck the skinning knife there. And that should be it. We've got a lot of things to repair star metal. Probably a bit too much. Um, we got a gas mask for brimstone and we just got a uh, bow. Bow's really not for much. Sometimes I can send a thrall in with him, but I'll probably just poke him first off. And yeah, we need a pike as well, so that is sorted. Um, I will chuck my love tap on this fella down here because we don't want that to go randomly missing. And yeah, I might take that uh, yarg thing as well because we do need to build up on our yarg. So that's a good swap there. And do we have bones? I'll grab bones off this one too. So we can prepare that yarg tool. So yeah, we'll go grab leather because we need tar to make um, steel fire and brimstone as well. Tar and brimstone make steel fire and still fire is one of those things you gotta get all the time doesn't matter how build up you are like um you just gotta get it now uh, today we made 500 bombs so we've gone through a lot of um still fire but you know that's just uh, one day making 500 bombs so you know it's not not too bad but you know there's a lot more in the stash and we need we're always going to need more so a brimstone hide run is something i do most of the time um, I'll run this down there, we'll get started, and then I'll probably just do it as a speed run for now, getting all this hide and all that. And then we'll come back to you guys and we can do the brimstone run. But with this hide run, um, where I'm going, I like to do it twice, so I'll just wait till stuff respawns and then go around and do it again. And you get quite a lot of um, elephant hide, aimed for around 4,000 elephant hide, so... We'll see how we go, but that's usually what happens after two runs, two runarounds. Uh, we didn't bring a water skin, so I advise you to bring a water skin. And we haven't got any food, but um, when I'm down here, I usually cook food up because you get so much of it anyway, so it's, that's fine. And there is a few water holes around too, so you don't have to worry about that too much. So we will be fine in that instance. Uh, we'll run past here, grab some water there. But yeah, you'll see it along the savannah is where we're going. And, um, yeah, there's a water hole right in the middle of it, and there's one right next to the side of it, and there's a little lake along the top of it too, so we've got plenty of water up there. It's not something we have to really worry about, and the food-wise, we'll be getting heaps of food, so that is fine too. But yeah, these, this um, farming session is just really about keeping everything going at the base, uh, making sure we've got some supplies to do what we need to do. And falling down is not going to help the situation, but yeah, these farming sessions you got to keep up regularly. We've got a few people in the clan helping us out, so that helps out a lot. But um, still fire, if you guys build up on still fire, you can never have enough. So it's definitely something worth building up on. I don't know why I keep doing that. Alright, let's go here. It's going to be really easier. I could take off my clothes, but then just taking them off and putting them back on just drives me mad. Oh, look, this guy's already up here. Thanks for the hand, mate. You could have shown me the easy route. Um, but we are nearly at Savannah, so you just run from the sinkhole, which is over there. That's a little shrine bit. So you run from the sinkhole over here. Uh, my guy wants to kill these guys, so I'll just run in circles here, and he can do his chop shoeys. Yeah, you can hit him. There you go. Oh, boom. All dead. So he's got a bit of power behind him, that's why I use him as someone to kill everything, and I'll be just there skinning them. So I probably should have skinned them, but, um, they're high and high. 
it's not the greatest. And also while you are here too, um, you can get bark because all this hide is going to have to go through the tanneries and the tanneries use bark so this is the best place to get bark while you're at it. Uh, you can come through here when you start finish killing everything over here. I'll probably run back here and just start getting bark and waiting for everything to respawn. But you should see that in the speed run. So let's get into killing first and skinning. Elephants is what I'm trying to go for mainly, but rhinos are fair game, tigers are fair game, and pretty much anything with hide we're going to try and tackle. This guy's going to run. Run me little dude over, he's gonna get pissed off and go for him. So sometimes you have to poke and sometimes he just runs in and gets him himself, but to help him out, you know, it's pretty easy, he's already pretty much done it, so uh, we get our little skinny knife out and we'll skin this one. But there, that elephant hide is the one we're after, the thick hide is always good too. We've got two tigers here. Uh, I always try and keep moving. As you can see, I stopped there and I got done. So that's the main thing I think you guys should know. But um, yeah, keep an eye out. Um, we're gonna do this speed run now, and um, I'll be back and we'll do a brimstone run at the same time after I finish um, going around this twice. So yeah, bear with us.
Okay, so let's see, we're pretty much finished now. Uh, we've got lots of hide. I think we've got like nearly 8,000 elephant hide. And they're still respawning. Uh, we did have a server reset while I was doing this, but that helped out a lot because everything just respawned. So that's what you kind of want when it's these situations. As you can see, we've got a lot, few more elephants. We're going to go over there and we're going to kill them too. This guy's had a bit of a hard time because I did put him up against the white grey rhino and the white tiger in one go. But we're getting a few keys. I've still got two keys on me, as you can see, skeleton keys. And then down the bottom, as you can see, we've got a lot of stuff. So there's one there and one up there. And we also got this hammer here. And we've got an axe. Uh, where'd my axe go? There's axe there. And we've got the axe. So yeah, it's good to get some skeletons keys, we've got some um, babies, we've got lots of this elephant hide, 8,000 as you can see there, the elephant hide, very nice there, uh, we'll just finish it off with these guys, and then I'll run over and do a brimstone run, and um, yeah, go back home and drop all this stuff off and start processing it, but yeah, I just thought I'd jump in and show you like uh, the aftermath after running around here, I think it was three times. This is a times five server, so yeah, it's, um, you can put that into mine, but still at the same time, I think that's a pretty good effort. Coming around here three times and just killing everything. And all these babies as well, they add up over time. Uh, with these babies, it's probably best to have no weapons and no tools on you, and it seems to pick them up a bit easier. Uh, and pick up these elephants too, which we don't use them too much, but. Uh, someone in the tribe will want to use them, or we can just stick them out front for people to kill basically, but um, yeah, as long as we can get these babies here, we're aiming it, just spam the button, and well, we got it. But yeah, I find it a lot easier if you've got no tools in your hand. Just a little tip there, but um, we'll go do the brimstone now, and yeah, we'll go home and see what we get. So we're back and we've got um, all our stuff. Oh, as you can see when I was running past, I'll show you that. Um, we did get raided at one stage, or well, he tried to. He sat up in his little trebuchet tower and just shot, popped shots at us for a while. But as you guys know, this, this building is really not one you can trebuchet. So I don't know what his go was there, but he was just um, mucking around. That's his little thing up there, looks like he's rebuilt it because we did blow the thing to pieces. So he's just rebuilt it up there, we had a treb shower there but then this one ended up blowing him up and that's our little treb up there. That was enough to hit him pretty hard so yeah, it's pretty good there. But yeah, it's good to, I didn't get that on footage but maybe next time if he comes back we'll get it on footage. 
but it just lasted too long like it was um as seven hours he was up there i got bored and jumped off and yeah it just took too long he was doing no damage it just wasn't worth it that's why we got the bug god bubble popped as well but he came at the front and he opened up like two doors like here and then just stopped because he realized he can't place bombs on the ground here so that was a good deterrent and it stopped the whole raid but yeah hopefully um I can get the next one he comes down and show you guys how to defend this place um it's quite easy just didn't need to do a couple of things on um, these doorways as you can see this side is so small three foundations it's blocked up again so even if they did hit us with a set god they'll probably get through these doors but they definitely won't get upstairs and now the god bubbles popped as well like um you can't shoot arrows up there so yeah i will figure it out when he gets in i guess but yeah right now we'll get all these resources that we've got and we'll put them into the tanneries and that then um all the heaters are probably on because the server reset and when the server reset all the heaters turn back on but we'll have a little quick look here so there's our brimstone row i think we've got around 10,000 brimstone 8,000 of the elephant hide and then we've got plus um rhino hide felon feline felt and just a normal and the thick and a couple of rhinos and rhino hide and a couple of um, lion cubs so they all around pretty good there uh, we've got some tigers already cooking up we've got quite a few tigers because I've done quite a few runs but yeah so um, we'll go chuck this stuff into the armors bench which is probably full as well might need to grab some boxes and fix this up a little bit but um at the moment we are processing quite a bit so it's um yeah it's not going to be easy putting this stuff away but um yeah just extra boxes i guess we've got boxes everywhere at the moment uh so let's have a look in here all right so we've got some room there we'll put the elephant hide into this one hopefully we can fit most of it if not all of it would be nice and I need to unlock the skill to do what I need to do so that's this one because I, I'm in conference mode I changed over so at the moment we've got to do that so here we've got rhino hide which we've only got 30 of that so we'll craft that but we want the elephant hide which is this last one 8590 so that's going to give us heaps so that's a real good hit there uh, let's have a look in this one we've got um, a few yeah we'll take all this out so as you can see we've already processed a bunch over here uh, you don't just get one hide thick hide you get a couple of thick hides so that 8000 is gonna double I think it's double pretty sure it's double anyway so we've got no inventory space because we are pretty full as well uh, so if I go down here and I'll just put um, this feline hide, feline hide in and then we can take a bit more out, put a bit more in but yeah it's as I was saying it's we're processing a lot so everything's um, building up on me at the moment uh, what else we got down here, I thought we had some rhino hide, what's that done, there it is alright so we put some rhino hide in now we'll process that so there's a rhino 900 and there's a feline 3700 alright so we should get a lot out of that and if we go to the tanneries because um, this is where we're going to have to put all this stuff which is under here alright so we've got a lot of leather at the moment going and there's a lot of tar at the moment so we're going to have we can't pick that out we've got too much in our inventory but right here we'll put the brimstone in so it's right next to the alchemist so we'll have some um, all the tar and all the brimstone can get together and do their thing and make still fire now you can never get enough still fire so yeah I'd suggest you just build up boxes after boxes of this stuff and it all adds up in the end there's that 
Uh, so we might be able to grab a bit of time out of here now and free it up a bit. Still doing 5,000 at the moment, so it's still processing quite a bit. It's already processed quite a bit. Um, but yeah, we just need to get this out so we can put what we need to put into it. So we'll grab all that good stuff. All this leather can come out. Uh, when you do all this, you get so much leather that it, it drives you a bit mad. But um, you can make the armor paddings with it if you wish. Even just the basic arming paddings, just have a box full of basic stuff. Um, that works too, you know. Doesn't really matter. So we'll put all this hide in there. It's got a lot in there. And we've got a lot of this thick hide. And we're going to have a lot more once those tanneries, uh, the armor benches are finished. Alright, so that's their 10,000 in there. So that's another 10,000 tar. And let's uh, see what's down here. We've got Right, so that's all being converted, so we'll just take as much as we can. So we need to put some bark in here. We've got only 300. That's not really enough. So we're going to have to do a bit more of a bark run. But at the den, which is really close to this house, is another good place to do a bark run. Oh, and I'm inside a chest. I didn't even realise that. Let me grab that back. There we go. That looks a bit better. Uh, so we're going to find an empty chest to put all this leather in. And I think um, if I go out here, we've got like an overflow on the outside here. I'll start putting it all in this one. Just so we've got a bit more room on the inside. There's all the tar, there's all the hide. And all the leather can go into this box at the moment. Probably need to make another box or we'll use one of these others because there's going to be just a lot of this stuff. You, you get heaps of this stuff really. There's not enough space already. So we'll do this box next to it. Past all that right there. Alright, so there we go with that. Um, this tar. Go into here. It's all stuff to make bombs in this box. But we need to convert all this tar to steel fire as soon as we can, really. But yeah, we've got enough demon blood to go around. Well, if we can have a good stash of like four to five thousand bombs I'll be happy, powder at least, and then turn it into bombs as we go. But that's the kind of numbers we're looking for. So 500 a day, um, doesn't take you long. We've already got a bit of a stash build up, so we're good. Uh, that place is full, so we're going to have to go to this tannery. And yeah, we need to take out most of this stuff here. Take out all that. Um, shouldn't be taking out that. All this can come out. At least this still has got a little bit of bark left. Um, we'll still do a bark run so these things can go all night. Now I've got another 300 for you there. And we've got this thick hide. We'll chuck that in there. So we've got 10,000 in the other tannery. 10,000 in this tannery. 16,000, there you go. 16,000 thick hide. It's going to make so very nice there. We've got those going quite strong. It's going to give us a lot of tar. And can we put more tar into here? I believe we can, yep. There's more tar there. A bit of an overflow of tar, and let's have a look at these cauldrons. They should be going with still fire, but they're not at the moment. So we'll put some more tar into there, and then we'll put some brimstone. Oh, it's this guy. God, he's not doing it either. 
Uh, so we need to unlock those attributes if we want to start those off. And then that should allow me to do still fire, which is just one of one because we've got a tier 4 thrall in there. So 190, that's not much at all, but um, we need to kind of take all this stuff out. If we want to do something a bit decent here. So again, this is just stuff to make bombs, so we'll get rid of all that. So that's all the tar we've put in there, I believe. Yep. Uh, so we've got some more brimstone. Uh, I'll go down and grab about that much. So throughout the day, we usually come on and just get these things going, make sure um, we keep on top of it. Because it does take a little bit, but um, it's also it's not that not that bad to do. Uh, we'll get more time, put that in there. Try and do it evenly because it is one to one. So if we come up to the top here and go by name, they kind of like lays it out for us so we're a bit low on the tar. We have got the same amount of tar here. So we'll do another row of tar there. Sometimes you have to go in and out if you want to scroll down. So another row of tar and then we'll probably make another row of brimstone here. There we go. So there's 3,000 still fire in that one, and I'll set this one up the same. But yeah, I hope you guys um, enjoyed the little farming session, that's all this was pretty much for. And um, yeah, hit the like button, comment, subscribe for more, and hopefully there's going to be more raids. It looks like we might get counter raid, so that's always fun too. But yeah, stick around guys, and I'll talk to you guys then. Catch us.